I just like the sound of it. What is going on everybody? So I did a poll recently on Instagram asking if you guys preferred the old style of video or if you guys want to see some more vlogging content. It seemed like the general consensus was that everyone wanted to see more vlogging. So here I am. Uh, we're gonna go check out a property that we recently rehabbed. So I'm gonna play the before footage for you guys and then I'm gonna head over there and walk you guys through the finished product. So enjoy this before footage. Ride our little shawty So fuck the cold scene I'ma show you how to party I know you know you know You like it like that Make that lock on dunk Ride it like that Bella di Arani Sadi Sadi di Ajori Made me feel like I'm in love In la 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 Sabato peyari I'm just hoping you go out Rango to agori Naka vecha coca paya Many sangha da Tere mure ni yo tanga de Sitting at the top Baby look into my eyes Now hot to fall a lot Then no many shot a da Yeah, paki meri yari Jeto meri yari haka na Ain't nobody ever Got it like that Pop bottles in the club What you want? Girl, I got that I know, I know, I know, I know You a queen, girl You know, you know, you know You know how I do, girl We can pull off in a coupe like that Travel where you want Through your bags in the back, girl I know, I know, I know, I know You a queen, girl You know, you know, you know You know how I do, Okay, so we just pulled up Um, I'm like kind of sweaty Because it's like 91 degrees near And I've been sitting in the car For a second just prepping the numbers and stuff for this video. So, we just pulled up. Let's go out and take a look. Okay, so this is what they look like from the outside. So, we just bought one, which would be number 54 on the left-hand side there. And it does have a designated parking spot, which is kind of nice, and it's right in front. So, the difference between these and the garden style is that you should be able to get a little bit more rent just because they're more spacious and you don't have someone directly above and beneath you, you just have one person next door. I'm just going to get the key out of the lockbox and then we'll head inside. Okay, well that is not good. I'm going to try to finagle with this for a second. There we go. So that might be something that needs to be replaced. Okay, the key is stuck and I'm having trouble getting it out, so this is really not good. One eternity later. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm just going to walk through show you guys the improvements that we made and then at the end we'll talk my favorite part which is talking numbers so this property we bought for a hundred and fifty thousand dollars and we put about fifteen thousand into it so that brings our total cost to approximately one hundred and sixty five thousand um, dollars the last one that sold was for a hundred and eighty five thousand and there's actually two more under contract i'm not sure what price those are under contract for also, it looks like there's a kitty cat here. I'm not sure where the cat came from. Um, maybe it's a neighbor's cat. It seems to just be chilling. Seems friendly enough. Hi. Anyways, back to what I was showing you. So right off the bat, we essentially made about $20,000 worth of equity by buying a property that needed a little bit of work as opposed to buying one that's already finished. So let's run through the actual monthly expenses for this. So we're looking at approximately $300 for the condo fee, and the yearly taxes are about $3,200. So if we divide $3,200 by 12, or the monthly in taxes, sorry, is $266. We'll round that up to $270. That brings our monthly expenses to about $370. Let's assume we put 20% down when we were buying this property. Actually, no, we'll do 25%. From that, we get 37500 So that would be the required down payment for this, which would bring our total mortgage amount to $112,500. It looks like our monthly payments are going to be $604. 
That brings our total monthly expenses to $1,170. We're currently trying to rent this property out for $1,850. That might be a little bit on the high end because we haven't actually rented it out yet. So let's assume we're able to get $1,600 for it on the low side. If we get $1,600 and I'll take out $1,200 for expenses because I always like to round up. We're still left with $400 a month or $4,800 a year. So now if we check that against our initial down payment, and I will also go in and add the $15,000 that we spent to bring this up to market value, we're still looking at a very healthy 9.15% return. In today's video, I really wanted to emphasize buying a property under market value so that you can create instant equity. Like I showed, by buying this for 150 as opposed to 185 and then renting it out without doing anything, we were able to buy it for 150, put in a good chunk of change, but still come out $20,000 under market value, which would equal equity in our pockets, which is essentially money in our pockets. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. Thank you all for watching.